seriously. Oh my god. When I looked on my camera there, it looked like a little kid stood at the bottom of the stairs. Why are you joking? I'm always on the lookout for something a little different, and when it comes to ghosts and hauntings, this place ticks all the boxes. Situated amongst four acres of private woodland, this quirky guest house offers spectacular views over the Wye Valley. This location oozes character with four poster beds, open fires and book filled rooms. It really is everything that you would expect from a haunted house. Ghostly encounters have been reported here for many years and visiting guests are often paid a spectral visit when they come to stay the night. Tonight we will be welcoming along a special guest who will join us here at the fabulous Hill House. My name's Duncan Staten. Um, I'm the owner of the Hill House. Lived here since 1999, just about. We run the house as a um, bed and breakfast. Um, we specialise in romantic weekends and um, occult people, pagans and ghost hunters have quite a lot of ghost hunting groups here um, of different uh, qualities, but there are some really good people, uh, so it's quite interesting. Well, there's um, six rooms pretty much. I tend to limit the number to eight people really, uh, just because... I'm getting older and it's easy for me to cook for them if there's a smaller number. Um, we've got hot tubs, got a sauna and the cinema. Um, bar is very good. Um, well, the house was um, built on the bones of a much older house that's linked to Goodrich Castle. Um, Godric, Goodrich Castle, Godric had land on Hool Hill, which I guess is Howell Hill. Um, and I found some footings, some very, very old um, stone footings deep underground. Uh, but the main house is um, early 1700s, and then it's always been a family house, so servants' quarters were added. It used to be, a, I think, a Welsh longhouse originally, but then people just tacked a bit on. So there's a Victorian part, there's a, a early 1700s, there's a late 1700s bit extension, that's when the servants' quarters are put on. So everyone that's lived here has just done some hammering and smashing about of the place and altered it and stuff like that. The, the person that um, bought the house from said, are you happy with ghosts? And I said, yeah. Of course, thinking it's a load of old rubbish, really. Um, and I don't really believe in ghosts. There's some kind of quantum thing I've got my head round, I think, maybe, I don't know. I've heard some things that I can't explain. As a non-believer, um, that's quite tricky. Um, I was doing some work in the bar watching um, Newsnight, Kirsty Walk, um, sticking corks on the ceiling, and a whole group of people opened the front doors, 
both doors opened and you could hear the doors being pushed open and the tiles on the floor are loose, um, the parquet flooring, in certain places you can hear people walking, if someone's walking you can hear them. And I could hear the tiles going click clack, and a whole load of people came in, oh, I don't know, 10 people, 15 people, and I thought, oh my God, you know, I've, I've, you know, there's a coach party, the coach is broken down, they know there's a big house and they want to stay overnight, there's something awful's happening, and oh, I don't know, of course I went out and had a look and there was nobody there. Other things, Alex seen shadows and shapes and, and, and people looking over the, the cradle of, of, a, of a baby, of our baby, um, looking over it and, and knowing that it wasn't possible to be any, any of our other children, they're all asleep in their beds, um, and being completely um, honest and straight. She's not a believer either. So. The previous owner told us about the white lady. She comes up the old staircase, um, which is in the hall, back there and it actually emerges right in the middle of the bath in the white lady's space. She only ever bothers blokes, uh, only ever bothers men because she's looking for a long lost love. Uh, sailor, 1800s, 1700s, 1800s I think, um, went off to sea and never came back so she's pining for him, the white lady, um, men that have, guys that have been here with couples. So I woke up and there was this woman standing in the end of the, you know, stuff like that. They, they've seen her. I haven't. I really haven't. Okay, hi. Here we are. We're at the amazing, fabulous Hill House. And it is that time of night when we decide who is going to be in control. But before we go on, we have a guest. This is Adam. Hi, Adam. Hello. So we've invited you along tonight to film with Are You Haunted? So tell us a little bit about how you feel when you've walked into this location. It's a really good location and coming along the driveway with the woods either side, I feel very isolated. So that sort of gives it that kind of spooky, creepy vibe. Uh, it's a very old building, it's full of history. Um, and there's a lot to explore as well, which is obviously gonna make it, um, a really good place to investigate. So are we all excited then for this evening? Definitely. Do we think we're going to have a good night, Jane? What are you feeling about it? Oh, I think it's an amazing building. I, you know, I'm, I'm shocked at how fantastic it is actually. It's old higgledy piggledy, is that the right mm -hmm. word? Mm -hmm. A lot of history. So uh, hopefully we'll get lots of happenings. Are you looking forward to the evening? Yes, um, wandering around, obviously doing bits of filming, getting uh, different shots of the building. Um, just gives you a feel for what might be in store for us in the next few minutes when we kick off the investigation. Well, I'm really... Do you like my glasses, by the way? No, go on. <laughs> well, I'm really excited about tonight, but obviously one person we're going to be handing over the reins to. So who is it going to be? Dale. <laughs> oh, actually, come to mention it, Dale is not actually with us um, because he's got a, a stomach upset, um, so he's not with us. So um, get well soon, Daley. We yeah. miss you. We miss you. <laughs> okay, so I've actually decided I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to be taking this one myself, and I'm going to be the one that is going to be showing you what you need to do this evening. So I will be telling you where to go, <laughs> who's going to be going alone tonight. Ooh. Yeah, Adam. Uh, <laughs> there's so much more um, than this just tiny, I mean, this, I say it's a tiny room, but this, we're actually in a bit of a, 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 an apartment area. Um, there's so much to this building, so lots to go out. There's only four of us, so we're going to have no CCTV hook tonight. We've all got the handhelds. I think we can pretty much cover it, so I just now need to decide where we're going to be putting the zooms. Okay, let's go. If you follow me, I'll show you where we're going to put this first Zoom recorder. Okay, so this is the library area. And earlier on, we heard from Duncan. He said he was doing a bit of work in here and he heard what sounded like a lot of people coming in through the front doors, crowds of people even. And when he went out and looked, there was nobody there. So I think this would be a great place to stick the first Zoom recorder. 
Okay, this is Zoom 1, located in the downstairs library area at Hill House. Okay, I've got some trigger objects to put down. The first one is this. It's a reception bell. So being that we're in a guest house and we're in the entrance, I'm just going to put it on here. So there has been some reports of children as well here. So I've got this toy zebra on wheels. So I'm going to set this up and I think I'm just going to put it here on the shelf. Okay, last object. It's a stick with bells on, Phil. It's the rattle. I'm going to leave that in here. This is the bar area. Just very randomly on the sofa. Right, so I've decided for the first vigil, um, I'm going to put Adam with Phil and I'm going to send you guys off upstairs. So I think that you should start off in the North Suite, which is the room that myself and Phil will be staying in tonight. There is supposed to be something in there, um, according to Duncan, um, when he had guests that one night, they heard banging from upstairs in that bedroom through the floor. So we'll start off in there. And then if you want to make your way along the corridor down to the white lady room. Me and you, Jane. Yeah. I think that we should check out the bar. I think that's a fantastic idea. <laughs> Are you up for that? It's I'm definitely up for very that. dark in there. Oh, so, OK. Yeah. So without further ado, it's time that we turn out the light. Yeah. So this is Adam and myself in the North Suite um, and uh, we're doing a vision here before moving on to the White Ladies Room. So we'll see if we get anything happening while we're here. So it's first vigil and I've brought um, Jane into the bar area and I promise it's not to have a drink. When I came in here earlier to set up the trigger object, it's just got that certain feel about it. So I thought it'd be quite interesting as I know that there's been activity that's been experienced here. So we're gonna start off and see how we get on. As you can see, the stairs leading up, they lead up to another floor of this room, so like a mezzanine, with um, two single beds. Um, so one of us might actually go up there and Sit down up there and see what happens. It's very quiet. Mm. Yeah. Very, very quiet, yeah. I mean, I know we're, we are kind of quite isolated, but there is quiet and then it's really, really quiet. It just seems very... Seems too quiet, if that makes sense. The good thing about that though is if you do hear a noise or any activity, it'd be quite easy to pick it up. Yeah. Do we have anybody else in here with myself and Jane? Anybody that wants to come and join us in the bar? Can you knock on something to let us know that you're here? Or move an object? We were hoping you were going to buy us a drink, that's why we've come down to see you. If there is somebody here, can you give us an indication that you're here please? Can you make a noise for us, for instance? slight noise to my right. I, was it like a knock or something? Yeah, yeah I heard that. Whatever. You know, not loud, but no, no, no. enough to get my attention. Yeah, that's a, I didn't say anything because I was listening no, to see if it did, if there's anything else like a, a, a creaky floorboard or anything like that. 
Anybody here with us? Can you come and speak to us, please? Let us know that you're here. Lots of history here. Lots of people that have walked through these walls and rooms. Are you still here? Do you want to come and speak to us? Can you walk across the floor so we can hear your footsteps? Walk towards us if you can. Yeah. Walk towards us if you can. Oh my god, I had to take a minute then. Come here. When I looked on my camera there, it looked like a little kid stood at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, you're joking. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> Just shut <just. laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> there were a noise out there, did you hear it? Yeah, I did, yeah. Is there anybody in here with us? Are you in the bathroom area? Is there anybody on the upper floor to this room? Whoa. Uh, that was weird. And that was up, up, exactly. It was, it was. Yeah. Whoa. It was like two clicks or it was weird. It, uh, it was like the, the yeah, it was. Yeah, kind of. Like, yeah. 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 Trying to think where it came from. The the it kind of come from the banner, not the banister. Is it like a railing at the top of that bit? Yeah. You can see. So for, for me, you saw, you, there's a, I can see a blue light, and it was um, just yeah. like up in the up yeah. in the room. Around that's that it. Area, around that's that it. Area. That's exactly where I'm looking at there. Yeah. What was that? Did you hear something? I didn't hear anything. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? No, I didn't hear Seriously. anything. Seriously. I thought that was you. Oh my God. What did you hear? Something like... Something like being dragged. Nothing. 
Not a thud, a heavy thud drag. It's something like I a. I thought you were sort of repositioned. No. I was looking over to the sort of bed area, so I didn't. I thought it's just you. So was it next to you? Was it? <sighs> Again, it came from that area um, up there. It was certainly to my left mm. when it did it, and it, it sounded like. Um, like that. Yeah, that's what I thought with you. No, no. So, just to get the ca on the camera, this is the sound I just heard. But coming from there, it was more of a carpet. This is wood. This floor is wooden. Um, but it was more of a carpet noise. Was it, um, when you say upstairs, was it more just over the rail like we heard earlier in it, that area again? It actually sounded closer than that. Right. Um... That was weird. That sent me goosebumpy that for a second. So we're relocated now to the library. Um, when we were in the bar area, it sounded like there was somebody walking around out here. So are they going to be in here? Are they going to be in the hallway? I don't know. We'll see what happens in here. If there's anybody in here, can you move a book? Lots of books in here. Which is your favourite? You alright? Yeah, just trying to work out that that noise and then the, the floor having the same noise and parquet, but there's nobody out there. Apparently this was the ballroom as well, so... Yeah. Maybe we've got somebody who would care to have a dance. If you're from before, this was a library. If you're seeing it differently. Do you mind us being here? Can you knock on the wood? Knock on the wall? Oh. Well, that was quite definite. Yeah, and that was again up there. Was that you? Can you do that again, please? Can you knock twice for us? There was a rumble kind of noise then, but I don't know where it came from. Not sure if it came from this room. That, that knock to the question was very, very strong. Yeah. So whoever was in the hallway walking about, do you want to come and join us down here now? Are you a gentleman? Is it a gentleman that's here with us now? I did, yeah. Do you want to step into the room? Come and join us. Do you want to step into the room? Come and join us. Can you make a bang? Or tap one of the glasses that's in here. squeaky noise. No, I heard like a little giggle. Like a <laughs> Yeah, but like that, but I was thinking squeak it. Whoever's making those noises, was this your room? Can you knock wants to let me know if it was your room that we're in? What the hell? That's got to be something to the building, surely. Is that something on the landing outside? No, it was a bump. <laughs> this is freaky. It sounded like an old creaky door opening. Yeah, it did. 
and then somebody standing on the on the, on the floorboard. So we've moved location into the cinema room. Would you care to join us in here? Or are you still out in the hallway mooching about? Do you think they'll watch the episode on the cinema one? <laughs> yeah. It'd be out. brilliant, wouldn't it? That'd be like another dimension. <laughs> Watching us in the cinema room. In the cinema room. Yeah. Jane, what, what the that? heck was that? Jane, what, what the that? heck was that? Okay, um, vigil two. I've decided that um, myself and Jane, we're going to stay together for this one. Yeah. Um, we're going to stay in this room because Phil, I know you and Adam have been getting quite a bit of going on in here. We did. So I'm going to send you and Adam right down to the other end of the corridor um, to supposedly what's known as most haunted room um, with a big four poster bed. So let's see how we get on with this one. Okay, I've got the Zoom recorder this area sent me down here with. And uh, we need to switch it on, obviously. There we go. Wait for it to power up and then hit record. And we're going to leave it in this room. Just there. Wait, sorry. I know you were filming it, but I thought there was a knock in there. In here? Definitely. I don't know when you move around on the floor, does it sort of. Uh, no, I wasn't there though at the time. No, it was like a knock. I'll sit here. Okay. <laughs> So you had a knock coming from the... Just in there, I'm sure of it. Yeah, okay. It wasn't cool. You would have heard it if it had been loud, so it's yeah. only like a sort of... Like that. Okay. There's the Zoom recorder that I sat a moment ago. Um, Adam is going to stay in here then. I guess that means I'm going to go into the other room. This is Vigil 2. It's Sarah and I in the North Suite. Phil and Adam were getting quite a bit of activity in here earlier. And uh, Sarah and Phil are sleeping here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite yeah, thingy because there's no handrail. No handrail. So this is like a bit of an attic room. Well, it is an attic room. It's not a bit of one. It actually is an attic room. So I guess if you come in here and you've got kids, then this is where they would be sleeping. And then another one behind. Yeah, yes. Okay, Vigil 2, myself and Adam. Uh, we are in what's been termed as the most haunted area of Hill House. So I'm in the bedroom with the four poster bed. And uh, grand, luxurious four poster bed. And Adam is the in the adjoining room, which also has a four poster bed. Is that you? Oh! What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Come on. Give me a torch. Turn the torch off now. That was weird. There was like a light outside. Oh, there was. I can see it. Look. Not. I don't know, let me turn that off. Mm. 
No, I know you can't see anything, but I'm going to speak to the camera. Um, we're alone out here, and there's nobody. <gasps> Flashing! Oh, what? What, what, what is there? that over there? It was a massive light to our right, but it was coming from here. But there's nobody up. Oh, there's one down there now. There. You see yeah, it? See it? See it? See it? What is that? There. Yeah, it's like there's somebody there, isn't it? Oh! Wow. Lit the tree up. Yeah, it did. Did you get it on camera? I don't know. I mean, there's a road down there because I can see tail lights. Yeah, I saw car. tail lights, but that's not what that was. But not lighting the tree up like that, it's like a torch light. But the first one was right up against the house. Yeah, to it the was. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mozzie just scared me to death. <laughs> You up? <laughs> Can you reach out for me? Feels cold on the back of my head. That's weird. Mm. Right there. Can you reach? Do you like people being in this room or do you not like people being in this room? Do you think this is your room still? Is that why you've got such a presence here? That you feel it's still your home, it's still your room and so you're scaring people. People don't like being in this room. If you want, if you want us to leave, do you want to knock on something? Do you want to make a noise? We can't hear you at the moment. We don't know what you want from us. What do you want? Shall we move into the white lady room? Yeah, let's. Okay. So this. It's the white lady's room. And she's actually there on the wall. I don't think I'll have to see her. I don't know if it'll pick it up on the night vision. Do you want to turn up your night shot? Don't know if I'll Yeah, you can just pick it out, can you? Just about. Are we in your bedroom? Did this used to be your bedroom? Am I sat on your bed? Can you knock on the wood panel on your game like you did earlier? Perhaps you can show us some flashing lights. Are you kidding me? That must be the other group, like radio. Yeah.
about 20 seconds, half a minute ago, did you knock a few times? Over. No, not us. No. Are you kidding me? Don't get out of the door, Adam. What do you want to see? See if there's anybody there. What's to the right? So they're not in there, are they? No. Yeah, but... What's to the right through that corridor? The top of the stairs where you come up. Right. And, and open that stair, gate. Stair. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I definitely heard it. So now it's gone midnight and I've sent Jane and Adam down into the far room on the ground floor and I've brought Phil into the bar. Um, I keep bringing people into the bar tonight but I've not had a drink yet. Must change. Okay, so this is Vigil 3 and it's Adam and Jane downstairs in the apartment. Let's see what happens. Just to show you what it's like without the night vision on. That is what we can see if we look away from the camera. We can only see through the night vision light. And if it's off, that's what you can see. And that's what we can see. And we're back in the room. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is there anyone here besides myself and Phil? Are you able to make a noise to let us know that you're here? Are you here? Can you tap on something? Did you hear that? A little tap. And again. Did you hear it? Where's it coming from? That corner. Is that you? Can you do it again, please? Maybe a little bit louder. There. There. Did you hear it? I heard something. Can you do it again, please? There. It's like there's movement over in that corner. Is there anybody there? So I thought that was just weird. I thought I felt the um, sofa judder then. Did you? <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Tell us your name. It's sort of been like this all night. It kind of you get some kind of real responses, and then it kind of dips, dips again. Yeah. So, if there's anybody here with us in the cinema room, do you want to come and watch a movie with us? Plenty of choices. So you can have a horror film. 
for a comedy, a drama, a thriller. I just did something there. Did you? Yeah, it hit like a groan. Really? Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the night is rolling on now, so we've decided we're going to do one last vigil. Um, myself and you, Jane, we've not been up to what is known as the most haunted area, mm. so that's the bedroom with the far poster bed. Okay. Um, so we're going to go up there and check Super. it out. Um, Adam, you've mentioned that you want to check out the library. Yeah, it's one, one of the places when we arrived earlier, it just, there was something weird about it. I don't know what, but... So I wouldn't mind having a little, okay. little look in the library. So I'm going to leave Phil with uh, Adam in the library. So there you go, Phil, back with in the, the library. With the candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> back in the library after nine and a half years of being in one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> okay. So... Adam and myself are now in the area known as the library and uh, we're going to see if anything happens while we're in here. Lots of books as you would expect. Don't you think it has a weird feeling in here? I'm not sure. I actually feel all right, if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah, at minute. I don't know when I feel like it... I don't know. I feel like there's somebody stood over in that corner. Which corner? That corner over there. That was weird. As I walked under um, this area, I felt something brushed the top of my head. What, as in properly brushed? It? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I thought it might have been like um, cobweb or something, but there's nothing there. Okay. Weird. Yeah, definitely like a, I'm proper getting heebie jeebies in here, Jane. Are you really? Yeah. I feel like there's somebody stood in that corner. Stand up and face that corner then. Well, I can't see anything because it's pitch black. Don't it? I need to put a torch on a second. You all right? I what think is... so. But well, you know when you just get something in your head? Which corner? That, that is... over there, yeah. It's not affecting me like it's affecting you, isn't that bizarre? Come and stand here. Can can you come and stand here? I really want to. Is that bad? This is a big room, isn't it? Yeah, very. Who is making Sarah feel this way? You won't interact with me on my own. Can you make a noise now to let me know that you're here? Because Sarah knows you're here. You've been scaring other people, guests, visitors to the house. You've been showing yourself. Why didn't you show yourself now?
Come and say hello to us. Oh. Oh. Was that you? Did you move something or make a noise? Was that you? Definitely you. What? Was it not? What? It was like, um... No. In fact, I was literally... Did you hear it? No. because no, I, I was literally just start, starting to yawn. You interrupted a yawn I was doing, so I couldn't hear anything. Oh. <laughs> so, was that you maybe yawning? Like, were you, like, doing a... No, no. Literally, I just started to go like that. You know your ears kind of yeah. block out sound when you just do that, <laughs> and then you said something else kind of stopped. No, it was like um, like a real like, how do I describe it? Like, like what? Well, like that noise? It was like pouring at something or. Okay, then where did that come from? Um, I thought sort of here behind, but for, I, d I was. And then I kind of moved round. So Jane, tell us what happened about eight o'clock this morning, because obviously we stayed overnight here in the bedrooms. Um, but something strange happened to you this morning, didn't it? Yeah, it did, yeah. I'd just woken up just before 8 o'clock, picked up my phone, um, just having a scroll through as you do, and um, it was only semi-awake, but, you know, lucid. And then there was two distinct knocks at my door. I wasn't sure if it was a door directly in my room or the one next to it, um, but it was very clear. And I did go and ask um, everyone later on, and apparently it has been reported before. Strange. What do you think it was? No idea. But um, I was listening and there, was, there were no footsteps, you know, before it or after. I didn't remember anybody walking up and there was definitely no movement afterwards. So, yeah. Because yeah, the corridor is quite creaky, isn't it? Oh, you, you can't move around in here. You can't do anything in here without something creaking. So, yeah, yeah um, no idea what that was. But it was interesting when I asked uh, the guys downstairs um, that it had been reported before. <laughs> Okay, uh, Hill House, um, what a great venue. Very, very quirky, very kind of oddball um, place to be wandering around in. Um, but uh, what, a, what a building, what some fantastic history this place has got. Um, I think the highlight of my evening was when we were downstairs, Sarah and I, and we heard lots of noises coming from outside in the corridor, lots of sort of walking noises. And when we went outside to investigate it, when we stood on the parquet floor and it made exactly the same noise, who was doing that? We have no idea, but we heard it several times and it was quite loud. As I'm stood here, there's a big dragon mural on the wall behind me. Lots of nooks and crannies with um, oddities in every corner, really. So it, in that sense, it's been a great night for me. Four very, very distinct knocks. And when I asked the rest of the team, they weren't moving around or anywhere near that room. So just cannot explain that at all. Really weird. Yeah. Adam was sat on the bed and I was sat on the, on, the, on the chair filming. And there were four distinct knocks. What sounded like knocking on the um, door frame uh, of, the, of the bedroom. Um, and uh, when we actually went to have a look, there was, there was nobody there. Yeah. We heard what we sounded like, um, footsteps or somebody moving around out in the hallway. We went out to see, obviously there was nobody there. And then we went into the library and again, we heard noises in the hallway nobody there. I don't know what that was or who that was. On top of that we had um, sort of a chuckling noise um, and maybe the sound of children. All in all, yeah, good night. Really enjoyed myself. Um, overall I've really enjoyed it. Um, absolutely lovely to meet Duncan and um, Alex. Um, brilliant people. Um, yeah, great night. 
I did enjoy it. I think it's been a great night. Whether it's haunted, I'm a little bit on the fence about that. Who knows? But I've enjoyed it nonetheless. Apologies for the creaky boots. Don't wear them again. Is that actually turned on? Radio. No. Oh. <laughs> Get that in the edit. <laughs>